Alex Henry ready for the kickoff. Beckham has got it. And the tackle is made right around the 26-yard line. The Steelers come out for the next possession, having reached the end zone on each of their two previous drives. Yeah, it's been good stuff to watch, no doubt. You know, the offensive side, the offensive coordinator is right in tune with the quarterback to call exactly the plays that they need, need to be called because of the situations, and the quarterback has been hot throwing the football. Flacco from the shotgun. And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. And here we have second down. Not much time left here, and the defense will need to come up with a stop to maintain the tie. From the gun, Flacco. And intercepted! An absolutely colossal moment in this game, Phil. An interception midway through the fourth. Oh, it's a big moment. You said it right. The offense, they have to be so dejected with the play of their quarterback in a crucial situation in the fourth. To throw an interception now, that is the worst thing that you could do for the football team. What a nice spot to begin this drive. The game is tied, and time is a factor. Out of the eye. Here's the handoff. Got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They were all over the run that time, and they only give up a short game. Coming to the line at the 27. Two minutes to go in the second half. That's second down coming up. Luke Stocker with the reception. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, the quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. From inside the red zone. Teams in the NFL spend about 30, 40 percent of their time all week long practicing plays in the red zone. So there's a lot they can do here. Let's see if they come up with something that works. The Steelers with a nickel look here on defense. Second and goal from the 10. Gurley has the good catch. Jim, I just want to say this to the quarterback. It's third and goal. If the play's not there, throw it away. Do not force the action. to go we are tied and this game has less than a minute to go Austin Safarian touchdown touchdown what a huge play that touchdown has them on the brink of victory what do you think Phil is that the touchdown that's going to seal this victory well I think it put them in unbelievable good position but now I think it's up to the coaching staff on the defensive side to make sure they go out there be aggressive and finish this game off the Steelers set to return the kick Six-yard line. 
The Steelers offense comes out here, Phil, desperately looking to put a drive together that can give them a chance here late to win this game. Always the tough thing to do in a situation like this for the offense is don't try to make the big play. Let it happen. Take a short gain if that's what the defense is giving you, especially on first down. Get this drive started by doing the right thing. Going for the home run. And it's incomplete. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. And it leads to another incomplete pass. The Steelers have saved all three of their timeouts for here in the fourth quarter. Second and ten. Wants to go deep. Intercepted. Phil, can you believe the defense steps up and makes the interception to clinch it for him today? Oh, they love this. Nothing like winning a game with a defensive play to ice everything. And I give the defense all the credit. Just a great play on their part. The Giants now march to the line. Tightly contested game here in the fourth. The scores 28 to 21. Cam Newton takes a look now from under center. Curley's taking the handoff. And I love situations like this. This is when I was at my best, getting in the huddle and telling everybody all the things. Put two hands on the football. Don't anybody jump off sides. Don't take any chances. And most of all, stay in bounds. Leads us to second down. It was a nail biter. It wasn't pretty, but it goes down as a victory. It's even sweeter when you win a close game in the league because you know how hard it is. And to make that one play, that was the difference. Whew, a lot of joy in the locker room. So for Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.